Hey guys, Radical Reg here, and I was going through my YouTube channel, and I noticed that I had quite a few videos that I did a while ago that were unpublished. So uh, uh, right now, I'm going to just release a couple of those at a time. This is going to be three, vi three of those videos in one video. Uh, this will give me some time to edit some other videos I want to do anyway. So hope you guys enjoy this Breaking the Seals. Hey guys, welcome to another Breaking the Seal, and today I got another limited run release, and that game is Curses and Chaos. Now here's the Vita version, and here's the uh, PS4 version, so I kind of bought these games without knowing too much about them. They look like arcade type of uh, games. Uh, I say arcade, like I thought it was an arcade or like a side scroller, but actually it's like an arcade arena fighter, which is pretty cool. So. Uh, yeah, um, only could get one copy each, so we had not got that, and now let's break them open. <laughs> it's, it's nice to get all these indie games released. Uh, they're taking it to an amazing level. Uh, I was, yeah, I opened the Vita version first because I keep thinking, like, hopefully a manual will be in there, but I'm like, <laughs> I'm already like, yeah, I know that's not going to happen. Anyway, it's worth a look though. So, anyways, uh, oh, new game smell still there. Yep, of course it's still there. It's brand new. Now the PS4 version, I'm pretty sure will have the manual in there. So let's break this sucker open. But uh, I know I'm not talking too much. I'm kind of tired. I just did edited like five videos today. So um, you can check out the gameplay footage up here. <laughs> oh, somewhat of a manual. That's cool. It's like a front and back page. That's awesome. At least it's something to cover the spot, so that's cool. So the new game smell is strong within this one. So anyways guys, uh yeah curses and chaos. Wait, did I say it right? Yep, curses and chaos. Looks like a pretty cool game. Um I damn I would pop it in. I'm just freaking tired right now. I gotta go to bed. But uh looks like an awesome game. Um uh, one or two players. Oh, online play too. Awesome. Okay, that's something Double Dragon Four can learn. <laughs> As of right now, at least. But yeah, it looks awesome. Yeah, thank you, Limited Run. Another awesome release. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this Breaking the Seal. See you later. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Breaking the Seal. And today's game, another amazing game to add to my collection. I'm very happy to have this. I uh, have the previous games in the series, even though the fourth game is only on PC. Uh, and that is Broken Sword for the PS4. Can you believe that? Broken Sword 5 came out for the PS4 and Xbox 360. Oh, Xbox One, but I don't have that system. So, uh, but yeah, this is really cool. Uh, I'm pumped up to have this. Uh, the first games are more like point and click type adventures. Uh, uh, they came out on PS1. Uh, PC. The third game came out on Xbox and PS2 in Europe. Uh, fourth game came out on on, on, the, on the PC, but uh, the third and fourth game were more like uh, they weren't my, like point and click. That you kind of like could control the characters where they go, so it kind of took away from the game. But this one takes the series back to the roots, which is pretty cool. So uh, looks very interesting. So let me stop yammer and let's get to opening this sucker. So. Very cool voice acting too. I heard the original voice actor for, for the, the dude, I forgot his name. He's been in all five games, so that's pretty cool. The girl, her voice changes every uh, every entry, so she probably, I'm pretty sure she has a new voice actor in this game. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh uh, yes, and check this out. Something you guys know I like. A manual. Yep, that's right. They didn't mess around, so I got a manual with this sucker. And the manual is look like it has a comic book in it, which is pretty cool. So that's awesome. A little comic strip and everything of the story. Check that out. Isn't that cool? So yeah. Broken Sword, part five. Looking pretty good. So I'm I'm really happy right now. 
Anyways, guys, um, uh, that's, like I said, it's a point-and-click adventure, old-school type game. If you guys are interested in that, you know, hopefully you're liking the footage I'm showing here. But uh, it's good to have those, those games are still around, you know. So, anyways, guys, um, thanks for watching this Breaking the Seal, and I'll see you next time. And I'm not high, I'm tired. All right, time for another Breaking the Seal. Uh, I got another limited run release, and today's game... I kind of went into not knowing what it is, so but I'll have, of course, gameplay footage here. Uh, it's called the Swapper. Uh, now this is from the same makers from Curve, who made the uh, other game called. Uh, oh, I just got it. It's called uh, Lone Survivor. Lone Survivor. You guys remember that one? And uh, looks pretty awesome. So uh, let's open the Vita version first because uh, yeah, it came out on Vita and PS4. I opened the Vita first because hopefully there's a manual inside, so we'll see. It doesn't feel like it, but maybe they'll surprise us. Let's go open. Not a damn thing. At least you got their new game smell. Cool. Alright. PS4 version won't let me down. Let's get this sucker open. front and the back so at least they're thinking about us so <laughs> I guess that's cool but yeah looks like a cool game so um, one player dual shot um, 392 megabytes so that's not too big on a hard drive space my hard drive is a terabyte I already run out of room again it's annoying but uh, yeah it looks like a kind of like a, a dark puzzle game or something like that it looks pretty cool so heard my buddy saying it was pretty good so I definitely wanted to pick it up. It's, it's fun picking up these indie titles. You know, uh, you never think these games get released because a lot of times why I do these videos with indie games, especially it's because, you know, I just want to remember that moment when I open these suckers because uh, uh, indie games are, uh, I mean, if, if a game doesn't get a, a physical format, it gets lost easily, you know, but if it has a physical format, it's there, you know, like, oh, yeah, I remember that game. These games, if they weren't a physical at all, I would not play them or pay attention to them because that's just, I don't know, it's just like I had, the game has to be physical for me. I mean, not all the time, but I prefer it to be. If I got into digital games, I'd go crazy. So that's just too much to have physical and digital. It's just, that's just me though, that doesn't have to be you guys. I'm just yammering on. But anyways, uh, Swapper, uh, I would say buy it with a, uh, I mean, physical copy, but you know, it's gonna be tough to find probably or a little bit more expensive than most people are willing to pay. But if you like the game, uh, check out, I mean, if you're interested in the game, check out some footage, or uh, the footage I'm showing, and just or download it. You can play it like that. But anyways, guys, it's gonna do it for this Breaking the Seal. Later.